Planned Parenthood launches a multi-million dollar campaign to provide abortions, quote, no matter what happens at the Supreme Court. The aggressive plan was billed as Planned Parenthood strategy in the event the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade. Planned Parenthood says its plan will work to, quote, ensure access to abortion on three fronts, access, policy, and culture change. The nation's largest abortion business says it will also work to reduce stigma attached to abortion by working with the music, fashion, movie, and television industries. This announcement follows Justice Brett Kavanaugh's first day on the Supreme Court last week, though Planned Parenthood claims they've been working on this plan since President Donald Trump took office. For a pro-life reaction, we are joined by Marjorie Dannenfelser, president of the Susan B. Anthony List. Marjorie, grateful to have you here as Always. we near the midterms. Always. Oh, wow. It's a busy time it, and beautiful. It really is. Yep. And amidst this busy time, Planned mm -hmm. Parenthood has made this announcement. What do you make of their multi-million dollar strategy? What's their game plan here? They know that they're losing. They feel their policy, their agenda going down the tubes. The idea that they're going to re-up their game in Hollywood is something that you, th they should do. If I were their consultant, I would tell them they should yeah. do that. But they've had these relationships for decades. They've had the upper hand for decades. Now they're on complete defense. They realize that the court is moving in the opposite direction of their agenda, and they're very worried, and they should be. Their plan says they want to provide abortions, quote, no matter what happens at the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Does this mean a complete disregard for the law? I think we've seen a lot of lawlessness, a lot of sense of no boundaries, a lot of sense of who cares what's in the Constitution. We're going to demand what we want lately. I'm speaking mm. of the Kavanaugh hearings in particular. Mm. I think two things about that comment. One, are you willing really to go into a back alley situation that you've always been arguing against, that no matter what the law is, regardless of, of protections for women and for unborn children, that's where you want to go? The second mm. piece I see is very related, which is their big agenda is for Mifeprex, chemical abortion, medical abortion to be basically at arm's length no matter where you are as a woman if you ever think that you would like to have an abortion don't think it through just go pick it up at your local uh, pharmacy and maybe if you're a 15 year old you might be have you should have access to that whether your parents know or not your daughter might be having an abortion in your own home without your knowledge if they are successful at this it takes abortion out of any perceived medical climate and puts it back into the quote privacy and lack of health standards of your own home. So you think increase the medical abortions is what they're aiming to do, which is the abortion pill, taking two pills. That's right. To... That's right. How should the pro-life movement respond to this? I think we should take great hope in the fact that we are seizing a beautiful moment where abortion policy is going to completely change direction if we stay on top of this. Mm. And what I mean by that is that Roe is very likely to be messed with, gutted, overturned. Mm -hmm. In any case, we see a possibility that more pro-life protections will be upheld. We'll be able to actually address the needs of mother and child in a life-affirming way for both. And we have mm -hmm. to look strategically. What states are going to do that first? What do we need to be doing matching on the right side what Planned Parenthood is doing with courage that our message is bold and beautiful and more attractive and better planned out about how to actually help women and children. That's a beautiful reminder. And finally, I want to go back to that culture issue. They yeah. said they want to change culture through working with the music, fashion, movie, and television industries. Again, what, is, what does this tell us about their strategy and who's winning the culture war? Well, I think for a long time we've acceded the victory to them on the cultural level because their messages are loud and obvious. We turn on the TV, we see them all the time. At the same time that's been happening over the decades, the pro-life movement has gained strength. In the last decade, we've gone from complete defense to complete offense in every legislature in the country and on the national level. So we should be doing the same thing. Of course, we're doing it right now, addressing culture. Mm -hmm. uh, politics is also culture. Mm -hmm. We should definitely continue to avail our strengths and dig deeper in in the places, especially in the country, right, as we start to strengthen laws that really need those messages the most. Absolutely. Marjorie Dannenfelser, president of the Susan B. Anthony List. Thank you. Thank you.